Even after 2,000 years of his reign, the first Chinese emperor, Xin Shi Huang's tomb, buried 114 feet underground, surrounded by poisonous mercury rivers and protected by a multi-billion dollar terracotta army, is one of the greatest historical discoveries in the world. Let's explore the final resting place of Xin Shi Huang and discover what could be buried within the emperor's mysterious mausoleum. In 1974, farmers in the Lingtong district of Xiang worked to dig a well, uncovered ceramic warrior figurines, which led to the discovery of the tomb of the first emperor of China. This finding soon gained national attention and a team of archaeologists found three vast underground chambers containing the remains of terracotta soldiers. The network of pits accompanying tombs and above-ground buildings that encircled the burial chamber beneath the mound is far too large and intricate. Only a fraction of the complex has been excavated after years of work since 1974, with discoveries made every year. The mausoleum of Xin Shi Huang is a massive burial complex that encompasses four square miles and is centered on a mound. Earlier, this mound only was thought to be the burial site of Xin Shi Huang. But archaeologists didn't expect this to be huge until the discovery of the army pits under the farms. Out of the total four pits discovered that make up the hidden underground city, three of them consisted of warriors of Xin Shi Huang. These army pits were located around 0.75 kilometers away from the mausoleum. Thousands of warriors were discovered within, along with wooden chariots and clay horses. Each of the soldiers had uniquely designed armor, hairstyles, and headdresses to depict the difference between the ranks of the soldiers and their functions in the army. It had it all, ranging from archers to infantrymen to charioteers. The display of such a big army symbolizes Xin Shi Huang's military strength. It seemed like an entire garrison of terracotta warriors was set up to guard the tomb of China's first emperor. The statues of warriors were between 5.5 feet to 6.4 feet in size. These clay figurines were perfectly crafted and showed every detail of their clothing and remnants of their original paint were still visible. This was only a minor section of what turned out to be the first emperor's vast burial complex. The first pit is the largest of all and is about the size of two football fields. This chamber includes chariots and the infantry of 6,000 soldiers and 50 chariots in total. Due to the historical significance, each terracotta soldier is worth around $3.5 million. That equates to $21 billion. Amazing, right? That's not all. The second pit is also half the size of the first one and consists of other army units. As compared to the first one, there are more chariots than infantry along with cavalry and crossbowmen. The third pit is the smallest and consists of 68 soldiers, four horses, one chariot, and dozens of weapons. In addition to the terracotta army, around 100 chariots, 40 horses, and 150 army of 6,000 soldiers roughly estimates to be around 45 to 50 billion dollars. Among them were two bronze chariots that were exact replicas of the Xin Shi Huang's real-life vehicles. One has a canopy while the other has a closed compartment. Both vehicles are built of bronze and accurately imitate every component of a wooden chariot. A person holding a crossbow rides the chariot with the canopy. The second chariot features a closed compartment with windows and a slanting roof. The compartment's bronze walls still have elaborate cloud and lozenge designs painted on them. This opulent chariot corresponds to the emperor's descriptions of the vehicles he used throughout his empire-wide trips. 
Twelve clay figures clothed in long jackets with wide sleeves and unique headgear, more likely to be of the representatives of the Empire's bureaucracy, were found in another pit. Their jackets even displayed tools for rectifying bamboo writing used in those times. Hundreds of sacrificed horses believed to be from the Imperial stables were also found in a vast pit to the west of the chamber. Other exotic species of deer and birds believed to be from the Emperor's Zoo were also found in smaller pits nearby, preserved in porcelain caskets. Soldiers were placed to guard the animal carcasses. According to historians, it was a tradition of sacrificing horses for the burial of kings and elite members of the royal family in China. But the first emperor's mausoleum outnumbers all previous tombs in terms of the number of animals sacrificed. Eighty-seven sets of mysterious armor and helmets made out of tiny stone plates linked together with metal wire and a hole on the eastern side. The placement of these stone swords was considered a ritual in China since they were thought to protect the spirit of the deceased from ghosts and evil spirits. Each pair of this extraterrestrial armor was much too hefty and constructive to be used in battle. A pit featuring performers and acrobats for the Emperor's afterlife entertainment is one of the most stunning discoveries. Archaeologists also uncovered a mud-covered ditch indicating the presence of a water basin. It was encircled by ledges with bronze swans standing on them, resembling a hunting area. For Chinese kings, imperial gardens big enough to accommodate hunting parties were a powerful emblem of royal might. Scholars have discovered Hong Tai, meaning the Terrace of Wild Swans, constructed for the emperor to shoot wildfowl from one of his palaces. A great number of additional graves have been discovered both inside and outside the burial complex. The graves within the courtyard, even though not yet uncovered, might be those of the first emperor's concubines and close relatives. According to written records, some preferred to die with their emperor, while others were forced to. Meanwhile, many hundred more modest burials containing the bones of the convicts and laborers compelled to work on the tomb have been discovered. Small ceramic remains in some of these graves show the name, place, rank, or nature of their punishment in the case of the prisoners. Incision scars on bones discovered in these graves show harsh physical treatment given to the prisoners. Even corpses of women and children were discovered, indicating that the entire family had been punished for the wrongdoing of one person. A huge number of bones of the workmen show the immense number of human labor used to build this majestic grave of Xin Shi Huang. Thousands of coins were found in the excavation. One of these rare silver coins was sold at auction in 2011 for over $334,000. Finally, the tomb of Xin Shi Huang, the first Chinese emperor, has become one of the greatest mysteries of all time. The burial complex, which comprised the mound, was surrounded by two above-ground walls. The walls were once 10 meters thick and were pierced by colossal gates that no longer exist. However, the marks of those gates can still be seen. The burial mound is on the southern side of the structure. There was a complex of ritual buildings in the above-ground area where sacrifices and rituals for the deceased emperor were performed. The main tomb chamber of Xin Shi Huang has not yet been excavated, owing to concerns about the preservation of its contents during excavation. Archaeologists have been able to identify the location and size of the burial chamber using scientific surveying methods such as magnetic anomaly surveying. It was discovered that subterranean walls of brick and tamped earth surround the tomb chamber to protect it from being flooded by the high water table. This tomb chamber incarnates huge curiosity among historians. 
No details of these have been found yet except in the writings of Sima Xiang, the first Chinese historian. According to Sima Xiang, it is a miraculous creation that features multiple rivers of mercury flowing inside the tomb area. Moreover, the tomb is full of precious and rare treasures. To safeguard these treasures from intruders, traps of hidden arrows have been installed. Whoever tries to lift the treasure, multiple arrows automatically shoot. He describes the vault as having a large dome decorated with the sun, moon, and stars. The ground depicts the nine regions and five mountains of China. The construction of the vast tomb took 38 years and the labor of hundreds of thousands of convicts. After the completion of the construction of this magnificent tomb, the mound was covered with grass and trees. What did Emperor Xinqi Huang accomplish during his reign to earn such a complicated burial? The Xinqi Huang's economy was organized to create an agricultural-based militarized society to enhance the power and wealth of its ruler. Xinqi Huang conquered neighboring Chinese territories and was the first to unify China. To establish his might, he even abolished all currency except his own during his reign. He also undertook epic construction projects like the Terracotta Army Complex, road systems, and even the Great Wall of China. Well, we cannot find records of the emperor's exact wealth during his reign, but the wealth of his dynasty can be easily mapped through the construction of the Great Wall. It's 21,000 kilometers long, and the construction cost was roughly around $95 billion. Archaeologists are hesitant to enter the tomb because of the mercury levels. According to soil samples taken near the tomb, which show exceptionally high levels of mercury pollution, doing so would be extremely risky. The soil samples from the remote area were tested and an average of 30 parts per billion of mercury was found. Whereas the soil samples near the tomb chamber had over mercury levels ranging from 250 parts per billion to 1500 parts per billion. All these mysteries make the tomb of Xin Shi Huang one of the greatest mysteries of modern times. Chinese rulers have been burying bronze ritual items, ceremonial musical instruments, and chariots with sacrificial horses since the early Bronze Age. All of these objects had become well-known emblems of a monarchy. Even before the unification of the first emperor, kings began to prepare their tombs in the form of chambers or even a palatial building. But nothing compares to the first emperor's tomb. Previous rulers only took their prized weapons, ceremonial utensils, and horses to the afterlife. But the first emperor recreated a complete replica of his kingdom, including stables and garrisons, and populated them with terracotta figures. Hope you enjoyed uncovering the secret tomb of China's first emperor, Xin Shi Huang. Share it with your history fanatic friends who would love watching these videos. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss such interesting videos.